All right. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. This is a continuation to the previous lecture. Uh, before we start with the registration page, uh, we had an error last time. It wasn't consistent. Sometimes when you you log in as a user, it takes you to the admin page, and sometimes when you log in to the admin page, it takes you to the user. There's a, um, there was like a, a delay action. And the reason is, it was a timing issue. Uh, if you remember, in the previous video, we have, in the success, we have mapping, invoke service, and then we have a run JavaScript, which is this one here, that checks what type of user it is. Let me show you the JavaScript. This is the JavaScript. Uh, it checks what type of user it is, and it depends on what type of user it is, it takes you to the proper page. Okay, so this was the code that we have in the success when we did uh, when we did the success for the login service which comes with comes with that this is what we've created get user information um, after testing it for a while the problem was it was a timing issue because when it was invoking this service uh, for some reason it was not you know the timing was off so what I did is that I moved the checking whether the service, uh, whether the uh, it's an admin or not, into the complete of good user information. So this is going to happen first. It would run the service, which is the get user information, which goes against our table, and the complete we run a JavaScript to say, am I this user or that user? So what you have to do. If you follow the previous example, delete the JavaScript that you have here and then put it basically in the complete for get user information. So this is before we start. Okay, now if you test it, you'll see that it works. Remember we had a couple users. So if I type in um, we had Ali, and then we click one, two, three. We do log in. It take you to the admin page, and I did add a log out, uh, which take me out and send me back to the other one. Now, if I type in Omar, and it's the same username and password. Now it takes me to the home page, which that's how it should have worked. Okay. All right. Let's go back to the application. I created a page called uh, registration page and we'll get back to the logout uh, so I'll show you how we do the logout maybe we should do the logout first so if I go to the admin page I added a button here from the uh, uh, from the list here I added a button and we have a back button I'll show you how we do the back button you click on the toolbar here or the navigator and then you'll see click on back button and that would automatically put a back button and send you back to the previous page but this one it's a custom button I added it so what do you do is that you drag and drop the button you associate an action with it and the action is that uh, invoke service service one now in the service one in the data you have you see that there is a service called service one and all that does it invoke a service which is if you remember here you say service add and then there's one option here which is uh, logout service okay that's what I did and this is what we have service one which is the logout service in here in the before send there is nothing uh, we send this section the session token and to the header appri uh, session token. This tells it that you're basically ending the session. Okay, so that would log you out and then hit cancel. In the success, in the mapping here, success we didn't do anything, but if you look into the if you look at the next one, so after I am successful, I logged out, I call the service properly, I go back to the uh, I go back to the main page. All right, so that is the logout uh, functionality. All right. 
Now go back to, this is the topic of this lecture, which is, uh, what I'll do is that I'll, uh, I'll stop here, create this video, and then we'll make another video. Okay, so this would be separate because uh, it's easier to segregate these videos, okay?